Hello there friends and strangers and welcome to another episode of KT. That's right, you thought I'd run out of flavours, but I bought a new one! I was in a tea section, as always. I mean, where else am I going to find the tea? I looked at my mum and I went, please, and she went, oh, go on then. But hey, when you see that Twinings have a brand new Cherry Bakewell flavour, you're not going to walk past and not buy it. I am freezing cold, so without further ado, let's go put the kettle on. I'm back with a hot water bottle as well. Ah, oh, that's better. This is so weird because it really does smell like Cherry Bakewell. Green tea that smells like cake sounds like a really odd combination. But cherry is like one of my favourite flavours, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. Although I'm going to wait a few minutes because this needs to cool. Excuse me while I just hug this. So in the meantime, how have you been? I've realised that lately at the end of my videos, I've been asking the question, what could possibly go wrong? And then every time I say that, something goes wrong during the week. Take this week for example, I was ill, like really ill, and I had to take two days off work. Now I don't know about you, but I hate calling in sick. I've never really enjoyed it, even when it came to missing school. Because let's be honest, there's nothing good on TV, all of your friends are at school or work, and let's face it, you're too ill to do anything fun. That and the day that I call in sick is the day when all the good stuff happens. Like free ice cream and puppies. What's worse is, because I'm new to my job, I didn't really know how to call in sick. I was like, do I need to speak to my boss? Because I'm still not sure he really knows who I am yet. In the end, I sent a very timid text to my colleague like, um, so I don't think I can come into work today. What do I do? I'm always scared when it comes to calling in sick that people won't believe me. I think it started when I was a little kid. My mum never believed me when I said I was ill. She thought I was just trying to get the day off school. Although she would come to learn in time that really that was the complete opposite of what I wanted to do. I mean seriously, this week I was trying to go to work and she was like, Katie, no, you're not going to work. You've just vomited everywhere. You are not going to work. And I was like, it's fine. I'm totally healthy. But when I was little, she never believed me when I said I was ill. She once sent me to school with viral tonsillitis. She got a very angry phone call from the school nurse 30 minutes after she dropped me off at the school gate and the nurse was like, your daughter has a really high temperature. What the hell were you thinking letting her come into school today? There was also that time when I went on holiday with my family and I told my parents that I was feeling kind of sick. But they didn't believe me. So we went to a zoo for monkeys and I threw up everywhere. I think it was at that moment that my parents realised that if I say I'm not feeling well, I mean it. So yeah, I should probably stop saying what could possibly go wrong at the end of my videos because I think I'm jinxing myself. But apart from that, my week's been all right. <laughs> okay, without further ado, it's time for the first sip. Ooh, that's not quite what I was expecting. Why do these things never taste like they smell? I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly disappointed by this. That being said, this is the first green tea that I've had in a while because I've used all my other flavours up. I'm still not sure about it though. Have you guys ever had Cherry Bakewell tea before? Let me know down in the comments below. I bought this tea a couple of days ago and then just earlier today I went shopping and picked up another flavour of tea. I swear every time I say that KT might be finishing, I find more flavours of tea. I think if it just tasted like Cherry Bakewell, it would be fine. Or if it just tasted like green tea, it would be okay. But the combination is very odd. This definitely isn't the best flavour of green tea that I've tried, but it certainly isn't the worst. If I were to give this a score out of 10, I'd maybe give it a 6. I wish it tasted better than it does. Maybe having a flavour of tea that tastes like cake was too much to hope for. However, can we just take a moment to appreciate how pretty the packaging is? I'm getting towards the end of the tea now, and I'm still undecided. And actually, when you do take a big sip of it, like I've just done there, you do get that cherry bakewell taste. But I think the trouble with this tea, and it's a very common problem with most flavoured teas, is that they don't taste exactly like you expect them to. But you know, I'm gonna finish the box because I hate to see good tea go to waste. Anyway, friends and strangers, thank you so much for watching this episode of KT. Take care, stay toasty, and I will see you next week. And nothing is going to go wrong this week, right? Right? Oh, I've probably just jinxed it now, haven't I? Bye!